We can demonstrate how light travels in straight lines by using a simple ray box and piece of cardboard with slits in it. You'll be able to see one ray of light there, and if you were to use one with three, you'll be able to see three rays of light. Now, if we were to put them next to each other, you'll be able to see that the slits are not running parallel to each other. Hence, if we were to add this, no light will go through, and this proves that light travels in straight lines. If a light ray hits a mirror at 90 degrees to the surface, as you can see now, the light is reflected straight back in exactly the direction that it came from. Now we can draw a dotted line and we call this the normal, and that's a small n. The light ray going towards the mirror is called the incident ray, and the light ray being reflected is called the reflected ray. The angle between the incident ray and the normal is called the angle of incidence. The angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called the angle of reflection. If you were to change the angle of incidence, so let's say 20 degrees, though you'll notice that the angle of reflection also changes to 20 degrees. This is because the angle of reflection is always equal to the angle of incidence. We could do the same for 40 degrees, like so. Refraction is the bending of light as it slows down when it moves from one material to another. If a light ray hits the surface of the block at an angle of 0 degrees to the normal, the light ray travels through the block in a straight line. If the light ray comes in at a small angle, say 20 degrees from the normal, then it changes direction a little, moves through the block and then changes direction again. The angle the light ray makes with the normal when it leaves a surface having changed direction is called the angle of refraction. The light ray bends towards the normal as it enters the block. The light ray also bends away from the normal as it leaves the block. If the incident ray hits the block at a larger angle, say 40 degrees, the two changes in direction are much bigger.